It is the stock that everybody's talking about right now. There's only one stock they're talking about. It's GameStop. And earlier this hour, I reported that uh, Melvin Capital now uh, telling us that it has closed out its position. It is the latest chapter in what has been a wild ride for this stock. Robert Frank joins us with another personality that's been involved in this. Investor Ryan Cohen buying shares of GameStop last August uh, it was a risky bet. But given the stock's meteoric rise, the bet paid off handsomely. Robert. Good morning, Andrew. And again, great reporting by you this morning on GameStop. Now, we're just going to use the market close yesterday to measure all this because who knows where it's going to open today. But GameStop creating more than $2 billion in wealth for its biggest shareholders just over the past couple of weeks. As you mentioned, the big winner here, Ryan Cohen, the co-founder of Chewy, bought around 10 percent of the company last August. He added more to that position last month, bringing his total stake to 13 percent. So his investment of $76 million now worth $1.3 billion. Now, he's also, if you just measure that by day, he's made more than $90 million a day or about $3 million an hour for the past two weeks. Now, his other stock investments also doing well. He plowed a lot of cash from selling Chewy into Apple stock. Uh, that has more than tripled. So he's added more than a billion just on the Apple bet. Now, the other big winner here, many people haven't seen this or read about it, is Donald Foss. Now, he is the 76-year-old founder and former CEO of Credit Acceptance Corp. They are the subprime auto lender. Foss bought around 5% of the company last February for around $12 million. That $12 million stake now worth about a half a billion dollars. And this is interesting. The hedge fund uh, manager, Michael Burry, he's that contrarian investor made famous by the big short. Burry owns about, uh, through his company, owns about $250 million in shares right now. He would have made even more, but Burry actually sold off about 38% of his stake last year. So I'm sure he's sorry he did that now. You know, GameStop CEO George Sherman, his stake is now worth about $350 million. Now, this is the big question, one that uh, Becky and Joe were also mentioning earlier. So far, none of these guys have sold, or at least we haven't seen filings yet. Uh, but if you get any of these shareholders, whether it's Foss, Cohen, Sherman, any of these guys selling a lot of stock now while the retail investor will get hurt, that's going to cause a whole other debate, guys. Robert, you think, the, you think the company should try to raise some money right now? That's what I'd be doing. I almost think it's negligence not to. But then people are going to say they're taking advantage well, of this crazy moment. Well, I don't think anyone would criticize the company for trying to raise money. The question is, can they do it quick enough with the stock where it is? Like, could you do a secondary at anywhere close to these valuations? What is the right valuation? Could you borrow money? I mean, would a bank or even an acquisition target... What would they take as currency? What is the value of this company? So, yes, you would think with this elevated levels, there could be some positive business impact. But I just don't know how anyone, whether it's a lender, a target or a partner, could value the stock as a currency. So I, I think we'll see where it settles down. Maybe they could do something to help the actual business. But at this point, it's, it's just hard to value. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.